Hey everyone, welcome back to another beer review on Cheer to Beers. I'm listening to the Brewing Network in the background, uh, a podcast that I've recently uh, caught on to. Very enjoyable stuff. Go check it out if you can. But I'm going to do a review of Indigo Imp Blonde Bombshell. This is a brewery that is up in Cleveland, Ohio. I tried to visit them recently on my trip, but uh, the building does not look like a brewery on the outside. You actually have to go into a big building that's another business and find their brewery. So I never went in. I never got to visit them. I did get some of the beer. This is their Blonde American Blonde Ale, and uh, it doesn't have percentage. It says bottle condition real ale, so there is yeast in the bottom. I didn't pull the whole thing in. Let's go ahead and get into it. Not a big smell in this beer. You're getting just a touch of hops. You're getting more malt than hops, and then I think I'm getting some yeast smell in there. It's very, a very interesting smelling blonde ale for sure. First taste of this beer is very yeasty. It's almost a fruit-like, crisp fruit-like taste to it. Not a lot of hops to speak of whatsoever. Um, it's kind of a muddy, murky tasting beer. The mouth feels almost medium to uh, full body, which is surprising for a blonde ale. It's uh, not clear at all. You can hardly see through it. Uh, interesting so far on this American blonde ale from Indigo Imp. You know, for me, this doesn't really taste too much like an American blonde ale. It's just there's so much yeast flavor, so much malt flavor that's coming through and it's drinking almost full body. You know, blonde ale, I consider, you know, a light bodied beer with a little bit of hops, a crisp taste, real clean and real light. And this really doesn't fit that at all. It's almost like, you know, it's not the right category of beer or it was brewed incorrectly. Something just doesn't seem right with this beer. So I'm going to give Indigo Imps Blonde Bombshell a 4 out of 10. Um, that's probably a little high, but I, I guess I'm considering an overall beer, beer. It's not that bad. It's just definitely not a blonde ale. It just has a, almost a crisp fruitiness to it that it's surprising, but it kind of has a murky, muddy, malty taste that it's not typical of a blonde ale at all. It just it doesn't really fit the style. That's why it's getting the score, but it's not a bad beer. If you've had this one, let me know what you thought of it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you got in the taste, what you thought the style was, and we'll kind of compare it. I'll go back and forth with you in the comments to see what we, uh, we think of this beer. So thumbs up for Indigo Imp. Still a great brewery. I've had other beers from them. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more reviews. And until next time, cheers.